question from Judy in Saskatchewan. If DSD is so good, why doesn't everyone use it? Good question, Judy. Big studios like Abbey Road and Capitol Records promote themselves as being among the best in the world, but they don't use or even mention DSD. If it's so good, why don't they use it? <laughs> I think that's a reasonable question, thank you. Um, in my opinion, they are, they are the best in the world, among the best in the world. I mean, art is always subjective, you know. Um, they don't use DSD, you're right. But they're, I think, I think it's good to understand there's a difference between the commercial market and the audiophile niche. You know, the commercial market, they're really thinking about people that are going to listen to music on their earbuds, on their computer, in their car. You know, it's, it's not so much about the system and the quality as it is about the flexibility and, and availability of the music. So for, for them to use DSD, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really make sense because their audience and who they're making this music for is completely different than who we're making our music for. So for, for us, we're audiophiles. We make music for audiophiles. We want to make records and albums and, and even downloads, you know, that are so high quality that when you put it on a system with really discerning speakers, you're going to hear all those flaws. You know, the, the flaws will be amplified and the music that is recorded very well, the quality will be amplified. So I really think it's just a matter of different, different target audience. Um, for us, we're, we're very cutting edge, Pyramix, DSD in general, not everybody uses it. It's much more complicated from what I'm told uh, <laughs> from our engineers, um, the Pyramix system and our studio is more complex than something like Pro Tools. So it's not accessible to just anybody. You know, right now, and, and for really, gosh, over a decade, maybe a couple decades, people have been able to get GarageBand on their Mac at home and make an album that sounds great. I mean, I think Billie Eilish's big hit record that has like Bad Guy and all those songs on him, I think that was made in like her brother's bedroom or something like that. So it's a different thing. It's, you, you can't just get a pyramid system and put it in your bedroom and expect that you're going to be able to figure it out if you're somebody that's, you don't have a lot of engineering experience. So for us, we're, we have a cutting edge studio um, with pretty, pretty high quality technology. And what we're making is very specific for audio files. So I hope that answers your question. Um, no, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with commercial music. I think it's fun. I listen to music on my Alexa device while I'm cooking dinner and that kind of thing. But when I really want to have an intimate experience where I turn the lights down and really listen to an album, I don't do that on Alexa in my kitchen. I want to I want to honestly go up to our studio and listen on the FR30s <laughs> because it just it sounds so amazing. It's like having a religious experience, the feeling of it. So I think that's why I think that's why we use DSD and commercial studios don't. So thanks for the question. If if you have questions um you watching this YouTube video right now, please drop them in the comments and I will put them on my list and try and get to them. Thanks.